Hello everyone. Welcome back to Clara's Creation. Clara's Creation had earlier presented an audio audiovisual impact of the poem Strawberry and in which we had learned the exact pronunciation of the poem Strawberry to read the poem with the rhythm, understand the rhyme, ming words and learn the recitation of the poem Strawberry. Today I am presenting the poem Lark from 5th English. Here is the word Lark. You can see in this slide and a little boy wandering and speaking to the Lark. Lark bird, lark bird, so ring high. Are you never weary when you reach the empty sky? Are the clouds not dairy? Don't you sometimes long to be a silent goldfish in the sea? Goldfish, goldfish, diving deep, are you never sad, say? When you feel the cold waves creep, are you really glad? Say, don't you sometimes long to sing and be a lockbird on the wing? Now we are going to learn to recite this poem with exact pronunciation and proper intonation. The poem will be split up for you so that you can focus on your reading and your pronunciation and intonation. And also look into the rhythm, rhyming words, and rhyming scheme. See the lark bird over here? Lark bird, lark bird, soaring high. Are you never weary? So here you can see I have given the split of words. I have split the lines. And I have made it simpler for you. I'll repeat, lark bird, lark bird, soaring high, are you never weary? When you reach the empty sky, are the clouds not dairy? A silent goldfish in the sea. Goldfish, goldfish, diving deep, are you never sad, say? And when you feel the cold waves creep, are you really glad to say? Don't you sometimes long to sing and be the lark bird on the wing? Now, the first part in the lesson is you list out the rhyming words. And the next part, you learn to recite the poem with proper rhythm. As you have seen, I have split it up for you. So, this will help you to recite your poem. Thank you. I hope you liked it.